I'm delighted to be joined here at the City Calling Stadium by the Longford Town Manager Neil Fenn. And Neil, brilliant win tonight at home to second place Drogheda. And as a result, Longford Town move a boat drive on the table. You must be chuffed with that victory tonight. Absolutely delighted with, with the win. Um, more pleased with the performance. I thought we were, we were excellent in the first half, especially. Um, and conceded the goal against the run of play, which obviously is not helpful. You know, I've, I've told the players lots of times it's very difficult if you, if you concede early in this league, or concede first in this league, but the boys showed great character, um, got an excellent equaliser from, from Dylan and um, weathered a, a lot of um, storm, a big storm in the second half, but you know, come out with a win. And a vital three points as well, it just takes the pressure off the town after the defeat to Limerick last week. You mentioned an outstanding display, it was a very good performance. And uh, when, what was your thoughts when Drogheda scored totally against the play? Because when they were here at the City Calling Stadium in the first league meeting, Drogheda played Longford off the park in the first half, and yet the town won 3 0 in the second half. What were your thoughts when they scored that goal totally against the play? Um, I would disagree with that they played us off the park. I thought it was a, they had a couple of good chances. No, in the first game. Yeah, in the first game. I thought that we created a lot of chances in that game as well. I thought it was end to end rather than them playing us off the park. But, um, they scored against the runner play, you know, that happens <laughs> in any in any football match. It just so it, it just felt a little bit like last week when we conceded early and then we conceded straight after we scored. But you know, again, we were full of confidence. I felt that we could score a goal because we showed glimpses of it in the first half and I thought we were a better team in the first half. And you know, eventually a goal would come or a chance would come and we would take it and, that, and that's what happened. Um the two new signings. Dylan Grimes and Jack Doherty, they made their debuts for the club last weekend and they both started this evening and both had crucial roles to play in the equalising goal. I thought Jack Doherty just ran his socks off. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's hard to single out anybody today, it really is. I, you know, the, the, those two did well. I thought Cole Chambers was excellent, Aaron Dobbs just leads the line so well. Um, Dervin in, in midfield and Zambra so, and the defence I just I have to single out everybody but um, it, it was just a good performance and it, it, you know it was a good team performance but when you when you all work as a team then the, the, you know the, the, lad, the individual players then can come out but if you don't work as a team and you don't work hard and you don't do the ugly side of it which is sometimes let us down a little bit um, you will get beaten but if, you, if we put on a performance a complete performance like we did today then we always have a chance. Now, three substitutions made in the second half. Um, Dylan Grimes came off, Jack Doherty came off, Carl Chambers came off. At least two of them seem to be injuries. Little knocks, yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure how serious they are. Um, I think they're just little knocks. Jack, Jack Doherty, was, Doherty was struggling at half time and had to have a strap in, but he came out in the second half and he did okay, but I think you know, by the end he, he was struggling a little bit more. Uh, Cold chamber is a little bit tight, and, and you know, not nothing to worry about. I don't think so. Hopefully, anyway. Um, but you know, when you're playing in those in those positions, you're doing a lot of pressing. Um, you, oh, we could have took Aaron Dobbs off as well, but, uh, probably <laughs> with ten minutes ago because you know he'd run his socks off as well. But that's what it takes. That's what it takes to be to, to be up there and to, and to maintain the lead at the top of the, the top of the division or to, to try and get to the top. It takes hard work, and, and, and that's what they did today. Now, you introduced Sam Verdon into the fray. He scored some crucial goals for the club this season, and he got yet another vital one this evening the winning goal in the 85th minute. He did, you know. Um, Sam's, Sam's excellent. He, you know, he didn't talk to me before the game because <laughs> he wasn't happy that he was sub. But, you know, he come on, and, and, and that's what Sam does. Sam's got such a good knack of just arriving in the box, and, and when, he t when he gets a chance, he takes it. Uh, and it was, a, it was a superb header, so, you know. Brilliant by Sam and a great call in by, by Anto. Now, next weekend, these uh, top five or top six clashes come in thick and fast. Another top four encounter next Friday night away to Cabin TD, who earned a, a vital one all draw away to Sheldon last night. Yeah, Cabin are a good team, a, a very good team, as they've shown. They're, they've, you know, they, they play good football, they've, you know, they've got good players, so it's going to be tough, but you know, every single game is going to be tough now, isn't it? We, we've said it before, you know. No team is running away with it. No team is 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 taking hidings every week. Every every team's competitive. Every team's organised. And if you can if you can nick a goal, if you can get a lead and, and defend it, um, you can you, you might win the game. So that's what we're going to go there into Cavan TV and try and do, and obviously try and stop them from scoring. And uh, seven games to go, so it really is squeaky bum time now. It's seven games to go. It's tight, but like I said to the lads after, these are the games you want to be involved in. You don't want to be involved in you know. Games yeah, that mean nothing. Yeah. yeah, you know, you want to be involved in in games that mean something, and that's when the, the true characters come out. That's when the lads 
with, with real quality come out when, when, it, when it really matters. So huge games coming up that, you know, that's what we want. We, we want huge games. You know, we want to win the league. We want to get promoted. We want to win a cup. So if we want to do that, we're going to have to be prepared for playing difficult games. Thanks,